we are starting to read the hand of a 44 year old person and uh, right now he is in government service and before i start reading his video i would request you to press the bell icon on youtube and don't miss another update call me or you can email me these are the phone number and email mentioned if you want a, a palmistry reading from me now we straight up ahead to this particular hand image we have the right as well as the left hand image so both these uh, we would be reading uh, the first thing to see for government service we have to look at the first finger the first finger is the finger of administration religion and politics the pointing finger the pointing finger is the finger for uh, the person uh, who is inclined towards government service or inclined towards governance and governance can be in private sector or public sector or NGO whatever but basically uh, it covers everything the main word is governance so governance would play a major role in his life the reason why we say so is because this is the lifeline and this is basically the headline and any lines that are moving upward or backward we can say from the headline or the lifeline and they are pointing towards the mount of jupiter this is basically the mount of jupiter so rising lines backward on the mount of jupiter indicates high position and honor in one's life and these things can be seen in the left hand as well as right hand i would show the left hand at a later at, at a later stage so left hand is basically the hand of past right hand is the hand of present left is passive hand right is active hand but we do not ignore the left hand there are not much major differences between the left and the right hand there you might find just few changes in the left and right hand so uh, if we read the left hand or the right hand it doesn't matter much in most of the cases but out here we are reading the right hand only so these backward uh, lines are considered to be good jupiter is a big planet big planet basically means growth expansion in one's life headline moving backward towards the amount of jupiter means that the mind is getting guided by jupiter jupiter being a big planet means the mind wants growth expansion and and even if it, uh, these lines originate from the lifeline and goes backward the meaning remains the same that life is getting guided by jupiter so these are the most important lines in the hand if we say so this, these are the most people do have many you might find few people to have these lines but these are not very strong kind of lines that people do have like that that we see in this particular case so stronger lines are always considered to be uh, to be uh, to be much better than weak and meek lines strong lines mean strength and uh, these things that i say about reaching high position it's not that in the earlier period there wouldn't be any high position right from early childhood these tendencies basically show up in a person's life and it's a constant thing that would always be there always must have been there right from first standard to 12th and in college and right now as well so uh, to topple these people from high position becomes a little bit difficult this is the main main thing people who try to, to position when they sit on a seat it's difficult to topple them uh, and uh, they would always get honor in their life this is the first aspect see apart from just one planet try to understand one planet doesn't bring everything in a person's life it's accumulation of many other lines put together and the hand structure and many other things put together which brings success or failure so another important line to refer to is on the mount of mercury and this line that is coming coming from a uh, close to the money line this is the uh, so this is the sun line this is basically the money line so it's coming from near the money and the sun line sun line is basically the career line this is the career line this is the money line and uh, a line that is originating from both these lines and pointing towards the amount of mercury is basically the line of mercury any line moving towards mercury is called the mercury line and mercury line is one of the most important lines because mercury represents a few things that is basically the skill the skill can be in writing skills it can be in communication skills it can be it can be in uh, medical engineering uh, business whatever you might think anything to do with with knowledge is basically mercury and having strong perpendicular lines over 
the amount of mercury means that the person is sharpening their skill people who have see out here we, we see reasonably strong lines reasonably strong lines means that the person is always sharpening the skills some people might have very broken broken kind of lines so those lines are of lesser importance some person might just have these kind of lines so those would those would still be called mercury lines but their importance decreases because the strength is not that that means that the person is not sharpening the skills like you see a small line out here so this is a comparatively weaker this is of no use a stronger line is of use that means that the person is giving effort time energy effort constantly throughout their life to make their skills better so this is what brings success so it's not yet it's not just that the jupiter is going to bring success jupiter is one part high position and this is the skill part so you need to have the ability to communicate and communicate in the best possible way in the most effective way in the most clarity with the most clarity the calculation as well as communication come from the mount of mercury so this is good now we come to the another aspect that is basically the sun line this is basically the sun line and the sun line is very distinct and okay? people do not have such prominent kind of sun lines people just might have a sun line some, somewhere out here this is the uh, this is i would this is basically the same hand. so anything uh, it, this is not a basically a normal kind of hand normally people have a heart line like here and the headline out here and a sun line something like this so this portion of the sun line would be before the age of 35 from this portion to this portion is 35 to 53 and this is 53 and beyond so many people just have a good sun line out here and they would not have a good sun line during this particular period so a sun line out here is very distant distant okay, right from the early childhood right from the most early age so what basically the sun line depicts i will just explain to you the meaning of sun line see basically the sun line is a carrier line people have three categories of line a very strong kind of a line uh mediocre uh, uh mediocre uh, this is a very thin kind of a line and then a mediocre kind of a line so there are three kind of lines that people have very thin line would mean that the person is full of doubts very very thin that means there are deep clouds in the sky and the person is unable to find their way out so that's a bad sign then a person might have slightly better kind of a sun line which is this particular line that we refer to so that would mean that there are light clouds in the sky it means sometimes there are clouds and sometimes the sun is shining when it shines it basically brings result when it doesn't shine basically when there are clouds so that means where doubts creep in and th things don't uh, things are not good but out here it's no clouds at all the sun is shining deep bright so it basically signifies that right from the early age the person did get get success some people call it as the line of luck i basically i do agree to some extent but i would i would say that sunline mm -hmm. doesn't mean purely success it means that are you giving energies to your work or are you not giving energies to your work when we find the line to be strong it means that the person is giving energies it's something like the sun is shining bright and because the sun is shining bright the plants on the earth they are growing much faster because of sunlight so this is all due to uh, how much energies you are going to be giving to your work some people call the sun line to be the name and fame line certainly it would be name and fame because automatically if a person gives energy they would be successful and they would be name and fame would be there so it is automatic so uh, uh, so sun line i have already explained to you what basically it means out here you would notice that uh, there's another parallel line kind of a line that is that is started out here you can't basically calculate exactly because uh, the lines are different because there is a same line that has a developer see i'll just explain the meaning first i'll explain what is basically a same line same line is a line that is running from one end to the other and out here it is basically merging of two lines together it is basically the headline this is the headline as well as the heart line as well both are joined together they are they are basically they have become one i'll just show you the left hand for a brief moment this is basically the left hand in the left hand it's not so prominent what is happening is that the there is a 
line that is running straight but there's a also an independent kind of a line that is the heart line that is developed so there's a difference between the left hand and the right hand only in this particular sphere normally uh, uh, normally people might have a distance between these two uh, these two lines so a distance between these two lines would be that this is the uh, line of feelings this is the line of heart that means the line of feelings and this is the line of head which is basically the meaning uh, it meaning your thought process so the area between the head and heart line the feeling and the thought process line is the area where decisions are made so uh, the feelings intermingle with the with the head that means your thought process and decisions get made so there should be a gap between these two lines that's when there would be balanced kind of decisions that would be made but out here uh because both the lines have merged into one because both the lines have merged into one what happens is that there's no gap between the thought process and the feelings they are merging into one so these people could be very good friends or extremely bitter enemies so it's either they, it's going to run either way either only thought process or either only feelings and there's no nothing in between that's what it is basically there's, there's nothing in between so it makes their personality very very different so when people are associating with them try to understand when people are so see every person whatever they are everyone is very very comfortable with whatever basically they are they might be extremely different but yet they are extremely comfortable with whatever they are it's see other people who associate with them that's where the problem basically lies and what happens is that people might not be able to understand such a person because of his basically personality traits which is completely different from uh, from the normal kind of people so these people are capable of taking very very hard kind of decisions uh, and uh, uh, that could also bring them extreme success also but at the same time uh, on one level it 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 also makes a personality a little bit different and difficult to understand so relationship issues might crop up to some extent uh, if the partner is very understanding then then it might not crop up so uh, one way of looking at it is this the other part is that there appears to be a line that is running parallel so this line is extremely small so we might just consider this to be the line of heart another line of heart but a very very weak kind of a line so in comparison to the same line these are comparatively weaker so it all it has got comparatively less use so uh, this is one aspect so uh, now uh, i would just take a look at a few other aspect towards the end of the sun line there's a v like portion v is not victory but v is considered to be a good sign pointing towards the finger we again pointing towards the line of uh, like under the saturn mount again a good sign uh, one of the prong is pointing towards the jupiter side jupiter is for high position on a and saturn is basically for money matter so both these areas is good then there is a perpendicular line somewhere from the age of 53 onwards which is very distinct and clear and a prominence so again a good sign and uh, and i just briefly one more thing i just need to add before i end this video we have to take into account the structure of the hand this is normally i i tell in the starting of the reading but out here i am taking uh, it towards the end of the reading the, the structure of the hand is the bone structure the bone structure and the skin covering over it the padding over the mounts and all so it appears that the hand is reasonably well padded it means it is considered to be a good sign it is something like a building which has got strong iron girders bone is this uh, iron girders and the padding over the mounts is basically the cementing so if the iron girders and cementing is done in a good way it means that the building is going to hold all also during major earthquakes and all it basically signifies in a human that these people would be rich in qualities these people would have a good hold over people money and resources and these people would basically be able to face difficult situations and come out as winners now uh, uh, the person is approximately 44 so he wanted to know what's going to happen somewhere uh, uh, at this particular age he wants to change over so probably this new line that is developing 
this could be the line where those changes might take place so this is just an approximate uh, i'll just go back to the left hand probably it might show few other things uh, same kind of a strong mercury line is seen strong sun line is seen very very strong then a new sunlight develops somewhere after the age of 53 so just just give me a one moment please just i'm taking a look at it so uh, that's it for now on this particular video and before i end my video i would request you to just uh, go through this as well this i repeat in almost all my videos people want to know about money possessions wealth we can come to know about money on almost any line heart line headline lifeline sunline mercury venus mars or any other line so it's not just the money line money line just plays a 15% role in our money so in his case you would have seen a good jupiter jupiter lines the sun line and the mercury line mercury is skill line if a person has skills the person is going to be successful so those things are necessary and a saint once said you do not need to go to an astrologer or palmist to know about your future because you already know your future present is a result of past how will be my future future depends upon what you are doing in the present what are we we are product of our thoughts so the thoughts that come to our mind are really important keep positive thoughts and keep good company that's what matters because even if a person has got the best of hand if they keep bad company it's going to go in the wrong direction everything is going to go in the wrong direction and if the person keeps good company it is the whole thing is going to multiply the benefits of the hand is going to multiply thanks for watching before i end this video press the bell icon on youtube and don't miss another update bye and take care